Okay, so now if you watch that first video, you know what I'm saying? This is me following up on something that I spoke about in the um, cringe number two video. Yeah, the cringe number two video. I'm, I'm more than sure it is. If it's not, it's in one of the in one of them shits. But I got the high kappa. All right, I went to an air shop in Kearney, New Jersey. I forget what it's called. Really cool guy. My man Brian shot me out. He doesn't follow me on YouTube yet, but maybe one day he will. If he ever sees this, shout out Brian. He play. He actually plays in the uh the NXL um paintball league, and they actually do like um uh, a circuit where they go to like Texas, California, Atlanta. All that. Look up NXL Paintball on YouTube if you ever come across this video and check that shit out. They actually play for that team. I follow his um his Instagram page with his team and everything. Real cool people, there, you know what I mean? But I was trying to get like a speed trigger, speed build done in there with a certain gun that I saw. And, you know, he kind of told me like the type of builds that they focus on is more milsim, you know what I mean? Military simulation. So they uh, focus a little more on milsim. And they really can't help me too much with speed trigger builds. So what I plan on doing is I'm gonna take my TK45 out there. My nails are dirty and everything. But um, I gotta take my TK45 build out there. Well, they're gonna build it. I'm gonna get the. They, they're gonna drop a speed trigger in it. I mentioned that. They're gonna take the anodized um orange, um orange piece on there. The anodized um muzzle flash. They're gonna take that off for me. Um, I'll get to put my tracer in there. I got one tracer unit as of right now. They didn't have green, uh, point 20s, green point 20, uh, BBs. The, um, the tracer, um, the glow in the dark tracer, they didn't have green, but they didn't have the right side I need. I need a point 20s. They only have point 25s. And for the point 25s, you can use them, but they're a little heavier. So that means you have to drop your FPS speed or you have to drop the FPS down. And that's just a bunch of, like, too much work, you know what I mean? So it's just, like, get the 20s, wait for the 20s, order the 20s, or whatever like that. But all that to say, you know what I mean? I got the cap of the day. You know what I'm saying? I got the high cap of, you know what I'm saying? Do a little unboxing of the high cap of, like, you know what I mean? Gas blowback. You know what I'm saying? A 4.3. I wanted the 4.3. I didn't want the 5.0. I might get a 5.0 in the future. Or something like that. Um, This one is different. I didn't really realize how many different type of high cappers there was. I never really noticed that. I kind of just grabbed the one that he had on the wall. It was a little bit more because it had like a, um, a upgraded spring in it already it didn't have like the like the regular spray so i could have really just went ahead and just got like you know a regular a regular one or whatever like you know what i mean but i decided to just uh oh this is a patch this is so cool this is a patch i am so throwing this on my um on my my uh, my mag vest 100 percent throwing this on my mag vest you know what i'm saying uh I guess this is this is CO2. It's, it makes me so mad because I was really just at the store and Brian, if you ever see this, you didn't fucking recommend me any gas. How do you sell me a gas blowback gun and don't even recommend gas right out of the store? I don't understand it. But these are like all the little knickknacks and all that shit. I don't even know anything about any of that shit. So that's something I'm going to have to learn. I'm going to uh, go on, you know, YouTube and figure out everything about this, uh, this gas blowback because I don't know too much of anything about it. I just knew I wanted it because it's very uh, customizable, very buildable. But this is the actual gun itself. Put this over here so you guys can have a better look. This is the actual gun itself. You know what I mean? High kappa. You know what I mean? Pull back. You see like how the barrel is like that? Really nice barrel. You know what I'm saying? Got the uh 
real nice like uh, iron sights on there green iron sights it already got the um the threads on there i i don't like this orange thread it gives like that really cheap like you know uh cheap gun look you know what i mean because you you could get this re like replaced it comes off like you see how like i could just unscrew that like that and just take it off but this is like for the barrel thread you can get a different barrel thread it ain't really no big deal you know what i mean that's what it looks like really really like a real gun almost so you know what i'm saying but really nice you know what I'm saying? It got the, um, uh, it's like a double barrel, it's like a double, um, ladder mag. So, like, instead of putting it down in the chamber and it only holding, like, you know, the one in the line, it actually, like, goes over a couple times and I hold, I think it holds about 25 shots or so. So, really nice gun. It's gas blowback, so whenever it does shoot, it smokes. Like, you know what I mean? Got a little smoke and it got, like, a little kickback. And again, I, I would... 100% love to show y'all some shit tonight but it's like with me and these airsoft guns i still don't have the gist of it yet and i keep buying incomplete bullshit that i you know what i mean you know what i mean really nice i keep buying bullshit you know what i mean this is going to be so nice like mark my words you see how this gun looks right now this shit is going to be very nice. Mark my words. By the end of this year, this 4.3 will be really nice. I'm not even going to even say that long. Maybe by like summer, fall. This shit is going to be fucking awesome. Remember what I said. Remember what I said. This shit is going gonna to be... This shit is going to be fucking awesome. It's already upgraded a little bit. I don't know all the, um, the, like, the true facts about it. I got to read about it and all that shit like that. And once I do that, you know what I mean, I'll double back, spin back, give y'all a better review. But this is just me just showing the gun and everything like that so I can finally get y'all some more gun content. Y'all saw my TK-45. Y'all seen, um, that's it. I didn't even show you my, my G36C yet. I got a all-black G36C compact version. Uh, it could be used for indoor um i actually gotta get the muzzle flash taken off of that as well i've been having like mixed opinions if i should build on that gun or not because like it's it's only like a 185 dollar gun and i don't know if, if it's going to be worth building on it because i don't know if i'm gonna actually like enjoy playing with the gun or not because like it's kind of limited like you know what i mean it's it's, it's it's kind of a limited gun because of um the price range or whatever but i ain't too worried about that i'm gonna I'm a talk to some shops and shit like that uh there's another guy out in um collinswood too Where's the fucking... it's another guy out in collinswood that's actually like uh the, the the flea market if anybody well everybody that you know from around my way knows but he actually has a gun shop and an uh, airsoft shop too and i, I might swing through there because he might actually help me out with a couple things, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to go through there. I'm going to check him out, see if he can help me. If not, I'll go back up there. But I but, but the main concern is I got the high kappa. I can't do nothing with my CQB build yet because the gun that I actually wanted, the guy is saying, like, I have to build that from the ground up and for the, for the blade trigger. And it's like... I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I feel like since he's a Milsim guy, like, I feel like there's other guys that can help me in that department a little more. But to say that I have to build my gun all the way up just to put a fucking trigger on it, I don't think that's true. I feel like you can actually adjust that trigger to guns and everything. Because otherwise, why else would I have a trigger guard? You know what I'm saying? If you couldn't just change out the trigger and not build the, the, the gun all the way up from itself... Why would you need a trigger guard? All you need is another gearbox, probably. That's probably the most you need is another gearbox. I don't see why I would, I would have to have to make a brand new lower, get a different gearbox. I just don't see why I had to build the gun up from scratch just to get a blade trigger. So I got to find a speed QB shop. I don't know if there's any in the area, but I'm willing to take a journey to get everything I need done and situated for the situation. Like, you know what I mean? So um, I'll figure that out. I'll try to get in touch with some some real speed QB guys or some shit like that. Anything for the channel, man. I'm bringing content, man. So it's like, fuck it, bro. 
I'm going to uh, bring this in the house. I'm going to play around with this a little bit, see what I need. Um, and that's it, man. This video is 10 minutes long. I didn't even think it would be this long. And um, that's it. I just wanted to show you how to gun. I made this this the second video I made. And um, that's it, man. A lot of more shit coming. And it's like, the way I see it is, I'm going to be going to that shop a lot. Because they got masks in there. He got other ARs. He got a bunch of BBs. He sell tracers. Like, it's a really nice shop. Brian got it going on up in that shop. Um, The next thing I'll probably do is I'll probably go out to, uh, I keep forgetting what it's called. It's out there in Hackstown. That's the field. But I, they sell, you know, uh, replicas and everything in there, too. So when I go through there, maybe I could get in touch with some more, like, you know, speed softers and shit like that. And figure out where I could get this build done at because... I don't know how to do it, so I don't want to ruin anything else. As you can see, I'm still a rookie. I done bought shit for this gun that I don't even have yet. And I, I got this gun, and I don't even have shit to do anything with it yet. So, again, like, comment, subscribe, man. That is my 4.3 high kappa. Uh, a bunch of pieces coming for this shit. Um, I'm going to probably do another upper. Probably do like a... Um, well, a, a, a upper slide. I might get a new grip. I've been, I'm telling you, I've been doing a lot of research on these high cappers, and they make very nice design, almost like Apex level, like weapon skins. Like if you ever seen or played Apex Legends, the weapon skins in that in that game is really nice, like Call of Duty level weapon skins. Like you know what I mean? And that's what I plan on doing with this capper. Only problem with high cappers is once you put the money in and the shit break, you're gonna be devastated because like. I've been seeing some people, I ain't gonna lie, they seem a little delicate, and to me, this shit is a little flimsy, I'm not gonna lie, just picking it up for the first time today, it's a little flimsy, and, 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 and they make, other, like, other people make other high cappers, like, whatever this brand is right here, is like, I'm not too familiar with them, but everybody, there's other brands that make high cappers, so it's on some shit like, maybe this is, isn't maybe, like, the best brand to have high cap in, I don't know, this is my first high capper, 4.3 version, maybe I'll get a 5.1 next time and you know go from there but this one has an upgraded spring and something else upgraded that's why i was a little extra i could have got one for like 160 but i paid 220 for it whatever it doesn't matter you know what i mean i do you know what i mean you 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 gonna spend what you have fun on like you know what i mean you're gonna spend the money on what you have fun on and i got more videos coming because i talked to my mans too about a laptop and i gotta go laptop shopping really soon because i want to start editing and putting shit together and you know making the videos a lot better for the content because these videos are boring i'm not even gonna lie i know they're boring nobody's probably gonna really sit right here and watch this for 12 minutes 13 minutes whoever does watch this i love you so much like comment subscribe i love you i appreciate it and um yeah nobody's gonna be watching these videos for this long if it ain't worthy of watching it like who's gonna sit here and watch a motherfucker sit in the car and talk about a fucking gun he's not even using airsoft gun at that like you know what i mean so on some shit like i gotta start getting um my preparations for making a laptop getting a laptop making it and figuring out like you know what i mean how i'm gonna go to the next level with this uh content because there's really no point in getting a gopro if i don't have a laptop so that's like another chunk of money coming out of my pocket. So if I got to be honest, I'm going to probably go airsoft in without content a few times because, well, I don't even got to. If I was to just get a two, three hundred dollar GoPro real quick, have the content. And then whenever I do put it on the computer, it could just be old content. Then I could just catch you up to speed. That'll probably be what I do. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. I'm out of here, man. On to the next. I just showed y'all my high capo. I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to beat around with it a little bit, see what's going on. And, um, yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go up, man. That's it, man. I'm out for this video.